Hello, this is Developer Dude, and in the previous video, we had created the header of this website, this one. But in this video, we are going to create the section, this section, which we are going to create these four tiles, this section. So let's get started. In the code, this is our project page, and this is original site. So we are going to create a uh, section under the header. So write down the code here. These, these all our headers code. Now we will create a section tag beneath the header tag. Section tag and uh, section should have class name section one. So class section one. Okay. Now create a div. Class name box because we are creating a box. So class name box. And uh, now in that box, what is the let's check this out. So this is the section and this is the box. Okay, and uh, this one for white mm, image. Okay, so get back to the code and uh, another div class name should be white okay, okay, this is not white okay, white and in this we have to write a line which one this order food or not one right okay spam spam sorry spam write down the line order food online Save it. Let's check it out how it's looking here. Click on Control R. So it's here. Order food online. Nothing else. And uh, image, image. Okay, so alt. Remove this alt. And uh, class name. Now we don't need this the class in it. So keep it. Now we have to put a link here for the image. So I have already these links. So just copy image one image first link and paste it here control v and save okay oh okay control r so here is the image same as this one now we will design this box so let's get back to the code in css let's remember the section one So write down the code here, section one. Display flex. Come on. Display oh display flex. And uh, just if I continue center. Margin bottom pH. Okay. Control save and control R. So the food is now in the center. That code. Now we will design box. So open this. And uh, position relation. Width 265 pixels. And the uh, margin 3 pixels and uh, 5 pixels. Okay. And the overflow hidden. Because we are creating a box, so nothing should be out of the box. Border box, border radius, sorry, border radius 15 pixels. And background color, where I use background color is to be RGB and 243, 243, 240, 240, 240, 240. Okay. This one is the correct color, so save and okay, this is our color, control R, so it's not looking like this, it's looking different. Guys. Okay, we are just creating. So, after creating it, we will get the final result. So, don't worry. So, now we will add it image. So, drop box image width is to be 100% and the uh, border radius. It's not necessary to give it, but uh, I'm giving it. Mm -hmm. And Z max 
minus one. You will get to be divided by this. So I'll tab, control R. Now it's house of good if you can. Now we will do white class and position absolute. Position absolute and bottom three pixels align item center border radius zero oh, zero zero fifteen pixels it's bottom left fifteen pixels for bottom right width is to be hundred percent and the height twenty five percent index Control C, Alt, Control Alt. Now it's here for auto fold online and now dot white span. Targeting span. Text align center. And the font can be right now. And font size 1 pm. Color RGB. 56, 56, 56. Okay, letter spacing 0 0.7 pixel, 0 0.7 pixel. Oh, what the hell? Okay, but it didn't give the background color white to the white. Background color white. Now I'm going to save and control R. It's reloading here and the shadow. Oh my god. Okay. Now we will go to the border radius of mm, border. One pixel solid gray. But not this one gray, just a light gray. Okay. okay. Let's check it. This Box shadow zero pixels are okay. Don't, don't have pixel one pixel and two pixel spread. And okay, so the shadow is now created here. Now, just how many times? Four times. Just copy and paste that code for four times. The text isn't in the middle. It's just, okay, just change this span to P. P and P. Control save. Come on, bottom. Change it to P. Control save. Now let's check it out. Control R. So this is the middle. And uh, Copy paste this code for three times more. Copy and paste this, just this code for the three more time and uh, save it. And this is our project. Control R refresh. And we have to create a margin there <coughs> under the header. Okay. Where is the header? Come on. This one. Margin bottom should be 10 of each. Control C, object. Now it's looking like. Same as this one, but it's small. Mm -hmm. Make it 7. Control R. Now it's looking the same as the original side. This is our project, and this is original. This is original, this is our project. So, this is for today, guys, and the uh, video will continue in parts. So, subscribe this channel if you haven't subscribed, and in the next video, we will create this heading and section. Goodbye.